know? And it's like me saying that, hey, help, like start stuff, whatever you need to do like to get, it's okay. And you don't want steps to come up the stage like lava. You know what lava is? Lava is like the stuff that people have a is but mm. for rocks, boom, 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 boom. you want to be like rocks coming off that stage, just hitting all that, boom, 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 okay? You know, and that takes rehearsal, <laughs> that takes training, that takes not being contrived, that's, that means be quiet in the corner and, and study. That means on the break, when they take a break, yo, know, I give you two dollars to teach me that down set. You know, our, our talking is our movement. So you gotta be very clear what you're saying. Okay guys, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna teach uh, Get Into The Money because I've seen a lot of Fair. videos and uh, variations and I just would love to just teach it the right way. Yeah. And hopefully you guys can have fun with it because I'm sure you guys are very familiar with it and everything. I just want to make sure that everything they talked about, everything you learned, you put it into this routine. Yeah. Mediocrity is so acceptable, especially here in Atlanta. You know, there's no classroom etiquette, there's no audition etiquette, there's no etiquette, period, no set etiquette. You guys have to get on the ball here. And I think, which is one of the reasons why I'm, I'm kicking this off with two of my favorite people, my artists, who have taught me some of the ropes in the business because it's almost non existent here. The industry is, is growing rapidly. And if y'all don't grow with it, y'all gonna be like the tacky kids from the projects, like, oh, look at her. She can dance, but they loud on their break. Why are you talking on your break? Go focus, sit in the corner and give, go over your steps. You know, that's, that, it's a life in this lifestyle. This lifestyle is serious, and it's ropes to this lifestyle, you know? So, you know, this is a plug for my studio, of course, but there, this is a one-stop shop. Mm -hmm. We have ballet, modern, jazz, African tech, Afro beats, uh, dance hall, uh, 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 Latin dance, everything that you can think of, it's right here in the vicinity. You have to train, that's just the bottom line. 10,000 hours to become a professional. If you're not putting in those damn hours, you are not going to make it. And it's just not, oh, class hours, hours of performing, hours of making costumes, hours of just being in your field, 10,000 hours. So you got to put in that time. You're not just going to be no damn microwave popcorn dancer. It's not going to happen in two minutes or two classes. A lot of people just knew how to keep up with Anthony Sandus and stuff. But a lot of you did really well. Don't let that intimidate you. And so next time you come to his class, you're gonna understand the formula. Just know that the steps you'll get in a 20 hour rehearsal. But the magic that you naturally possess, no one can teach you how to bring that out. No one can teach you how to be you. That is what is already in you. So you just have to cultivate and nurture and show the world. There'll never be another Kimmy G, there'll never be another Ant, there'll never be another Chris, there'll never be another you. So it's your responsibility to, you know, peel those layers back and let that person be seen by the world through the choreography. Not changing the choreography and make it your own, but bringing that choreography to life, if that makes any sense. It's very important, it's very important to be who you are, you know, in this industry. 
and in this studio and in these four walls and within the choreography. So just stay true to who you are because you're all here for a reason. And congratulations to investing in your future because this is huge, huge. So I'm proud of you and I love you guys already and I, I know you're going to be amazing. You can, you can make it simple. You can make it clear. You can make it clean. You can make it concise. Keep it simple. If you can't do a pirouette, don't be up there bust on like James Brown. <laughs> It's not necessary because that makes you look like a tacky, inexperienced dancer. Yourself in them, no matter how much weight you got, no matter how chocolate your skin is, or how short your hair is, how tall and lanky you are, somebody is out there that looks just like you and ready to be inspired and is ready to say, I want to be like her with the red hair, I want to be like her with the gray shirt. Okay. Like, you should really be breathing hard, should be looking up. It's, it's really a uh, prep, it's really, whoo, let me get all the air and oxygen I need, let me just hide in front. I ain't seen nobody lose their mind yet. Like, B's queen at losing her mind. Cause literally, that's what gets her through. <laughs> On some realness, y'all. Like, you could be the best dancer, you can have everything, but it's something about losing it. You so, you so well rehearsed and you so there that once you lose it, it's something else is taking you over. It's magic, that's, that's, that's what we're trying to teach you. Is that it's more to just, you coming here and just doing the step or the movement. And I'm saying, this is with any crowd. Magical when you watch something that's just so free, so like careless, so like selfless, you know. And it's not like I'm trying to do so hard that I'm dancing for Frank and Chris and Anthony so I can get a job or I can dance with someone. It's because you love it. And when you love it, I mean, like, it's like when you love somebody in a relationship, you can see that, you can feel it, you can see people that are in love. When I see people that love dance, it's just like, ooh, you give me the chills, the creepies, like, because it's something so magical, so special, you know? And it's a vehicle, you know? This dance thing can take you all over the world. Mm -hmm. It can get you a dance studio. Yes. Hey! Yes. Maintain the relationship. Maintain the relationship. And, and Anthony and I, we all agree up here, maintain the relationship is dancing your ass off. Okay? Do the work. You know, you, you, you know, they may come to you, why are you so shy? You ain't shy. Because you remember, there's, there's a lot of janky dancers in the room. And the choreographer may be janky too. But the choreographer can't get you if you out dancing everybody. And it's just my connections, my friends. I'm, you know, Ebony Williams is going to be first in the round. Hey. Real technique, real people that are in the business currently coming into the city, fueling you and giving you information. And it's not just the master classes. You got to come in and train, period. <laughs> like, what's the girl's name? City girls. <laughs> period. <laughs> I love when I'm teaching and people are actually really listening and really taking note. That means so much to any cross person because it shows that you care. It shows that you care and you're really trying your best. And I just want to say I appreciate that and I'm sure Anthony does and Frank. Like, you just have to throw yourself in there and just do it and just believe that you got it. 